Yeah. Uh, we got Kevin Smith here. Now, we know you've been a pod guy for... What? No. What? Ever. I didn't yeah. know it showed. I was yeah. trying to keep it yeah. on the down low. Well, are, you, are, you, are you high right now? Uh, well, high. Let's, let, let's define our terms. Yep. I haven't been high in probably 10 years. Okay. I am mm-hmm. always loaded with THC. Okay. So mm. based on that, like there's no like I'll go to sleep at about midnight. But you don't feel high right now. Six or seven, I never feel high. Really? But there's always THC. So in then my why system. if if you nice. don't if you don't get that feeling, then why it's why, why do I people smoke? drink coffee? Why do people drink water? But does it what so the, mm-hmm. you do feel it then? I but but not when you say, "Are you high?" That's like uh, such a high school thing. Wait, like, so I, I, I have been high. Wait, so do you for ten years? I smoke again. I smoke so much. Yeah. And this is not bragging, kids. This yeah. ain't like, oh, he's cool. Not at all. But there's always THC flowing in my system. If I yeah. go to bed at midnight and wake up at six, it's only six hours down the minute I wake up and start smoking. Okay, so, maybe we should ask it a different way. Do you feel it when you don't have it? Well, maybe ask another question. Yeah. When haven't I had it? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. So yeah. I really don't recall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and yet I'm not like, I, so I do, do a bunch of like, stuff. So I spin a lot of plates. So I'm yeah. not, I never yeah. feel baked. And, and yeah. part of it for me is like working through it. I enjoy mm. smoking so yeah. that I could show off and be like, look at the 19 things I'm doing. I'm baked out of my mind because that, <laughs> that's how I like perceived Seth Rogen on Zach and Mary make a porno. I was like, yeah. He's constantly baked, but not like bleh, baked, yeah. like sitting there mm-hmm. watching TV, but he's he always yeah. smells like weed. Yeah. And not only is he making my movie and making it better by making three additional movies inside my movie that are much funnier than the one I wrote, he's working on two other projects with Evan and his trailer between takes and stuff like that. This was a dude who could multitask. Yeah. First stoner I ever met in my life where I was like, oh, that's, that's not the stereotype. Mm-hmm. Like, this is not what I'm used to. Um, most of the stoners I knew, uh, Jay was there for a second before he moved on to harder things. Brian Johnson took a whole year off in California, smoking weed and watching South Park. And I was just like, well, there you go. That's the kind of thing. So I was never really a weed guy. I could yeah. count on maybe two hands the amount of times I'd smoke weed prior to my 38th birthday or something like that. Then, uh, I worked with Rogan. I was impressed by him at the end of the show. Uh, my friend Malcolm was like, he wants to smoke with you. I said, what? And he goes, Seth wants to smoke with you because he's a cinematic uh, stoner icon and you're like, used to be a cinematic stoner icon. So the two of you need to smoke together. You got to do this for the movies, man. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't smoke weed and I'm making a movie. I would never smoke weed while I'm making a movie. That's irresponsible. And he goes, well, he just wants to smoke with you. You can't let him down. So at the end of the movie, we we're all finished and there was one day um, where we were doing pickups with, with Seth. So uh, we were three things left to do and the movie was finished. So I sidled up to him and I was like, hey, man, what do you say tonight? We, we go to the editing room, we watch some cut footage, and we smoke some of that weed I hear so much about. He goes, finally. Uh, uh. <laughs> and so I went and I smoked with him, and I absolutely loved who I was. Like, number one, he, it was Pittsburgh, but he had L.A. weed, and it was mm-hmm. incredible. So number two, like, any pretense or any of the stuff I carried about, like, you know, I'm, I'm the guy that made Clerks, or I'm Kevin Sp- all that stuff just faded away like I didn't care anymore and suddenly yeah. I was like oh like this is neat I really like who I am so but I didn't the start smoking weed on the regular from, at it's, that point. it's the result the result that some people get from therapy you just happen to find it in weed because I, I never had anything I wasn't a, a drinker yeah. like you know yeah. and I would sit around sober like when everyone would drink and stuff even in high school like I yeah. like sugar that was my thing and yeah stuff. me too and sugar only it didn't make you, it made you yeah. happy mm-hmm. uh, yeah, but it happy, didn't get yeah. like make you loopy and stuff yeah. right yeah. so when I found weed it wasn't that it made me loopy. It made me feel like, oh, I could be myself. Like, weed doesn't make you a better person. It doesn't make you more creative. People like, does it make you more creative? Absolutely not. If you're not creative, weed's not going to make you creative. However, if you're remotely creative, um, or if you just have good ideas that are always stymied and hampered by the second inner voice that's mm-hmm. like, hey, man, Don't why you? Yeah. Why yeah. would you do that? Weed is the great, like, is it breakdown. Like you're that like, stuff? and mm-hmm. suddenly you're like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Might is it kind of like that stuff that you see on TV, the infomercial, where, like, maybe you have some, like, uh, fog over your head, headlights on your car, or maybe, like, a little dull spot on the paint, <laughs> yes. and they take this crap orange something, whatever, and they rub it on mm. there, and all of a sudden it's a brand <laughs> new car? Very shiny. Yeah. Do you remember, like, uh, you guys are probably not old enough to remember on TVs, there used to be a button for sharp. Yeah. I remember so, that. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, How old do you think we are? The, yeah. How old do you think well, I mean, we are? I was born in 70. When were you born? 76. All right. So you would remember Sean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who's the youngest? Who's the one born? The, the guy sitting right, right next to you. Right, 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 right. What year? 90. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. yeah. I know. Still, you predate <laughs> clerks, and that makes me feel better. Yeah. Yeah. I meet so many people who are like, you know, I was born in 97, and I'm like, you were, yeah. you were, you were bodily fluid when we yeah. made clerks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, lur lurking somewhere. So, there used to be a button, button on TV sharpness. Mm -hmm. Weed always feels to me like you've just turned the sharpness button, everything crisps up. See, so it's I, easier I to understand. Yeah, I too. thought it would kind of dull everything. I, that's what it's supposed yeah. like to. And that fog. was the stereotype that I had my whole life. But instead, for me, it went the other way. It also made me more verbose than I normally am. And I'm very verbose to begin with. Weed has a cocaine-like effect on me. And I've never had cocaine, but people describe me when I started smoking weed. My wife's like, "Isn't that Are sativa you doing though?" There's two different like, sativa, sativa yeah. and indica. And I'm a and very indica. sativa guy, but well, that, that would explain, I, that's I'll what, smoke that's any, any, like any port of storm. So I'll make mm -hmm. an indica and make it work like a sativa. I refuse to wow. let the weed take me down. <laughs> okay. So I'm always kind of up. Yeah. But that's part of the fun. It's yeah. like I'm going to work through this.